Welcome back to the garage. So, yeah, this is a uh, this is one of these electric impact wrenches from Harbor Freight, the half inch variety. And I've had this, I don't know, three or four years probably. And uh, it's worked well the whole entire time until this past summer when I was doing some work on this that green dart and I was rebuilding the front end on that car. I started having some problems with this thing a little bit. Sometimes it didn't seem like it wanted to engage too well. But I worked around with it, you know, and it would start working again. And I could do what I needed to do with it. And it got through that. <laughs> so I brought it back out to use it on this car. I was going to, what was I doing? I think I was taking lug nuts off or something. It wasn't anything really that hard to do with it. You know, not, nothing that was challenging. Let's put it that way. But it, what it was doing was it would every once in a while it would like it would let's let's use a good redneck word term for it. It seemed like it would neutral out. That's what it was doing. You just give it give it the give it the gun there, and it just zoom, 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 wouldn't you know, like a starter that doesn't engage. So and then it would start working. Well, I was working along on this thing and trying to use it, and it did that again, and it it did it all the time. There was no more drive, so this thing doesn't. It doesn't do anything anymore. It's just like you turn this and it's like it's catches something every once in a while. But, you know, you're not supposed to be able to do that with it, obviously. But the more disconcerting thing is I noticed, I put it up, I just put it, threw it to the side and just didn't even look, really look at it. I said, ah, it's shot. Which it is because you look at this and something has tried to blow its way out of here. Some kind of more or less catastrophic failure has occurred and i don't remember seeing parts fly out of it nothing hit me or went flying past me but something definitely grenaded in there so i believe it was just a removal of some screws here we can get this end off here and i thought this would be fun to just take this off here and see what happened to it Doom, 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 doom. What did we break today? That's interesting. That appears to be a, looks like a wood screw. The threads on it's not, not fine machine thread screws. Parts okay. Hmm. Yeah, nothing wrong with any of that. I can tell.
Then I see a ball bearing in there. And in there. I keep stuff like these shims and stuff. A lot of grease in it. You get a packet of grease. Nice. Alright, so I guess this is the, uh, hang on. I guess this is sort of what you would call the anvil or something like that. And there are pieces of, I see metallic pieces on it right there. So let's just clean this off and get a damage report. So this is the end here that the, obviously this is the end of the socket or whatever you're going to put on it. It goes on in the, it's got an O-ring on it, but the, I don't know if that's an O-ring or what that is. Something, yeah, it's an O-ring, but it's supposed to have a clip on it. The clip broke off long ago. But So I don't see any uh, crazy wear on this thing. It's got some, a little bit right here looks like it's kind of rounded off right there, but yeah. So we gotta dig deeper here. So this is the this is mm -hmm. well it looks like some yak. Looks like some ball bearings came out of this thing here. I see one kinda there's one in there and then there's one here and I would just say that that's the overrunning clutch because you can if you look in there you can sort of do that. And it's just nasty. If you can look in there, you can see that there's, it's got a ramp on this thing. I mean, the way it's made there, if I, like if we turned it, excuse me, no, oh, that's my glove. This thing is, this thing is sitting sideways. So the, the uh, it's at an angle. So something, looks like a ball bearing kind of got caught in there. But if I had to guess, I would say it broke the ball bearings, and that's what came flying out of here. Because <laughs> there's only two left. There's like, there's one in there, and there's one right here. So, like the ball bearings are what failed on it. So let me work on this. I'm going to turn the camera off. This will be boring just to watch me tap on this. But I'm going to work on this a little bit and see if I can get the rest of this all apart. I'll be right back. Okay, so I monkeyed around with this thing a little bit more, and it's just got a, a it's got a crack in there. And what I think is going on is you probably could repair this, but I believe there's more, supposed to be more than just one or two ball bearings in there. I mean, at least at least two. But I think, judging by the way it looks in there, I think that. What I can tell, it's supposed to be more than that in there. It's supposed to be more than just one or two. So I think all the rest of the ball bearings somehow came out broke or whatever happened and they exited out of this house. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. No more, no more of this. So it's a good while it lasted. And you know, if you can get one reasonable, if you don't have air tools, I would say go ahead and pick it up, but it will probably come apart at some point. If you use it pretty hard, I think it's probably going to give up the ghost. And like I said, the, the weak link is the ball bearings in it. Because I don't see anything else that actually... Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you look here. If you look at this ball bearing... broken so yeah it took a beating right there one side of it's cratered so that's what happened it just broke the ball bearings in it so okay then this has been a fascinating autopsy of a cheap chicago electric isn't that a laughable name i could see somebody somewhere saying what's the most industrial sounding name for a, a line of cheap tools oh chicago chicago electric everything comes from chicago is good let's name it chicago these have nothing to do with Chicago because you look, it states clearly on the side of this thing. Where does it say? I know it says it. Yep, right there. 
fighting China. Chicago is now a division of China, I guess. All right, well, okay, this is it, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, we're going to get back on this pretty soon. I have some things to do to it since uh, you saw the little teaser video. And uh, it is up and running and moving, but I have a couple setbacks, nothing major, just the usual Mopar things, which means that there's liquid on the ground instead of inside of something it's supposed to be inside of. So I have to address that. In the meantime, uh, let's keep moving forward. Thanks a lot. I have a good one.